Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and today we're going to take a look at how to fix the This Is Taking Too Long error message in Windows Search. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so you may be experiencing issues with your Windows 10 desktop, laptop, or portable device, whatever it may be. And there's quite a common thing going around at the moment where if you click on the search bar at the bottom left hand corner of your desktop and try to search, it comes up with a message saying that this is taking too long. And there's also a refresh button and some of you may be also experiencing some sort of weird hieroglyphics or some kind of weird numbers and letters which are actually in that thing, which makes you think that you may have some sort of malware, a virus or something along those lines. But rest assured, well, Hopefully it shouldn't be any of those, it's just a simple thing where Windows has gone a bit wonky again. Now some people have found this has happened because of the Knowledge Base 4550945 update, which has happened recently, and sometimes users have experienced just removing that update from Add Remove Programs actually fixes all your problems. But there's also other ways of doing it. You can just use Windows Update and update to the very latest version. Now this video has been released in May 2020, so you should have at least the November 2019 update on your system. But if you haven't, make sure you go into Windows Update and do as many updates as possible. But there is also another way of doing it, which is to clean up any corruption or problems with your Windows image you may have. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you how to fix it. So in your Windows desktop, this is where your problem area is. So normally you'd click on here, and sometimes you'll get a message here, which I'll pop up on the screen now, which says that this is taking too long and you may experience other graphical issues in this section. So what we're gonna to need to do is to run the command prompt as an administrator. So all we need to do is type in CMD and on the command prompt app, right click and choose run as administrator. This will bring up the user account control and ask if you want to make changes to your device. Now obviously before you do this, it's always worth taking a backup of your system and making sure that you've got a backup should anything go wrong. But this is a relatively benign operation, so it should be fine. So we'll click on yes and we get our Windows command prompt. So now what we need to do is to type in a command to make Windows actually restore the image. So the command is dism dot exe, then a space, forward slash online space forward slash clean up dash image space forward slash restore health. Now if you're watching this video and you've, uh, you're not keeping up, then you can copy and paste this string from the video description below. So once you've got that, all you need to do is hit enter and then the deployment image servicing and management tool will do its thing. And this shouldn't take very long at all, depending on how many errors you've got with your operating system. But generally this will take probably about three or four minutes. So we'll quickly blast through this. Okay, so once the operation is finished, you'll get the message on your screen, hopefully, that says the restore operation completed successfully. So at this point now, all we need to do is type in exit to close down the window, or alternatively you can just click on the X in the top, hit enter, and that is it. So now at this point, it's probably a good idea to do a reboot of the system, just to make sure everything's as it should be. After you've rebooted, you should find that your Windows search is now fully functional again. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. Um, there will be some links in the video description below for other various tips and tricks, and also the knowledge base numbers, also the dism.exe string, which you need to type in. But again, as always, if you've got any comments or questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> but there is also another way of doing it, which is to clean up the image. <laughs>